Estamos no ar? E aí, Sim. Que que Ótimo. Então, olá a todos. É... Um bom dia. É com muito prazer que nós começamos mais um webinário internacional uh, da Unifesp. E hoje nós temos um ilustre convidado que está literalmente 12 horas de diferença praticamente nossa. Então, respeito a, ao nosso convidado, o idioma do, deste webinário será em francês. Opa, perdão, em inglês. <laughs> uh, sorry. So, welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for being here with us today. It's a great pleasure to, to introduce our guest today and also our host today, because Professor Kenchan, she worked hard to organize this webinar for this morning, and she brought a very, very special guest today, which is Professor Xiaohui Liu. And Professor Xiaohui uh, Hui Liu, uh, he's from the University of Chinese Academic of Science, from the from the the school of physical science so today he's going to talk a little bit about the nuclear um hadron physics the charming physics in the bsa 3 project but now my role here today is to say thank you professor xiaohui for being with us today on behalf of the graduate studies and research office of unifesp It's a huge pleasure to receive a Chinese research here with a, a very well-concepted and well-known field of research, which is quite important for UNIFES because we're pretty new on physics. And just as the health uh, area, we also want to improve our physics area. So it's pretty important. And mostly important is to have Professor Kanchan with us which is a woman, and also it's not a Brazilian by, by, by the birth, but it's very welcome by UNIFESP as a, one of our faculty. It's pretty important to have a woman that is in the science, especially in a hard science like physics, to work and to prove to the world that yes, woman power is here and we have her to work with us at UNIFESP. Professor Kanchan, it's a, you have no idea how pleasure it is to have you between us and representing us in a such an important field of knowledge, which is physics. Professor Professor Kanchan, she's from India, and she she is an assistant professor of the Department of Physics at UNIFESP in Campus Diadema, and she had a previous position. As a, at the University of uh, Rio de Janeiro, and she has different academic experiences, and which she had a doctorate from the University of Mumbai, a postdoc at the University of Valencia in Spain, and University of Coimbra, Portugal, and at a research center for nuclear physics, Japan, and at the University of Sao Paulo here in Brazil. Her interests in research are interactions of hadron and properties of hadrons, and her research collaborators are with the collaborators with the theory groups at the University of Valencia Research Center for Nuclear Physics in Japan, Binhan University in China, and Putyong National University, South Korea. So, Professor, uh, thank you so much. For organizing this webinar. Uh, I'll let this stage for you to introduce Professor Xiaohui and also Professor Marina, which is a very important name in the area. And I hope you all enjoy this webinar. Please welcome everyone and UNIFESP is all arms for you and it's our time to listen to what you have to teach us. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, for Professor Camilo. That was very kind of you. Um, every word you said, I, I really felt very nice, very, very kind of you. 
Um, I and my job is now to just say a few words about Shavui, and uh, I I just want to listen more from Shavui, so I'm not going to take a lot of time. I'm just going to quickly say Shavui, as Professor Camilo already mentioned, he is a professor at the School of Physical Science, University of Chinese Academy of Sciences. He has his undergraduate studies done from uh, Peking University, and. Uh, he has done his doctorate from Tokyo Tech, Tokyo Institute of Technology. Um, uh, he is involved in the best three project in the Beijing electron positron collider, the PEPC2 facility in China. He's also involved in the LHCB project. He is doing amazing work. He's in the last five years. His average number of publication is like 80. So you, you, you are going to, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to what you're going to teach us. And uh, I'm very thankful to you, shall we? Um, uh, just before we begin, and I leave, uh, I, I, I ask you to begin the talk. I would just like uh, everyone in the audience to please keep the cameras and the microphone. Um, uh, not uh, switched off uh, during the talk. We will ask the questions at the end. And the, when, when you want to ask the questions, you are welcome to open your microphone and just directly interact with Shahui. I think if it's like two cameras at the same time, probably we can even handle that. So uh, anybody in the audience who wants to ask the question can is also welcome to open the camera and interact with Shahui. So that's most I have to say. Shahui, welcome, and please begin your talk. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, thank you, Kenshin, for the. Uh, I think I, it's my honor to uh, present uh, the best three uh, results uh, in this uh, uh, webinar. Uh, I uh, thanks the invitation uh, from uh, Kenshin and also for the very nice uh, introduction by Professor Camilo and also the uh, very distinguished professor, uh, Melina. And uh, actually, uh, my institute is the University of China Academy of Sciences. Uh, actually, uh, as uh, uh, kind of Professor Kang Chen uh, introduced, uh, we are all not only uh, attending the best three experiment, but also RCB. And uh, in RCB collaboration, we actually have the uh, Brazilian uh, colleagues uh, from Rio uh, group, and I actually, we, we, in our uh, group, we have a, a colleague uh, named is, uh, Daniel Viela, uh, who is uh, graduated from uh, real group and uh, working as a postdoc in our group. Uh, then he just moved to uh, Cincinnati University in USA. So actually, uh, Daniel told me a lot about the, uh, the community uh, in Brazil. So I, that's why I, I, I was very uh, glad to accept the invitation and uh, give this uh, speech and uh, hope to share uh, knowledge with uh, the Brazilian uh, colleagues and I hope we can get more uh, future collaboration uh, in different aspects of the, of the, uh, in the uh, hydron physics and also uh, nuclear physics and also uh, other uh, part. Uh, okay, so uh, my outline uh, today, uh, I will mainly uh, highlight uh, some results from best three after some introduction of this facility. And then I will also uh, give you some uh, uh, information about the future plan uh, in China. So these are uh, at last is the summary. So uh, you know that uh, in the current uh, uh, study of the standard model uh, and also uh, searching for new physics beyond it, so there are different uh, kind of aspects we can we can work on. Uh, for example, there is the high energy frontier. Uh, for example, the the, the Tevatron and also the current running RST experiment, and also there is also a high precision frontier. Uh, which uh, uh, give very price measurement of, about some asymmetry uh, and also flavor, you know, lepton flavor universality and also any uh, lepton number violation and so on. Uh, many uh, this kind of uh, precision measurement and also the the G minus two measurement. For example, the, the tomorrow there will be a release of a new G minus two result from Fermi Lab. 
and also EDM. So it's a very uh, uh, very <coughs> stringent test uh, on the uh, standard model and uh, could find some clue about the new physics. And also there is a low energy frontier. So we study the hadrons and also the low Q square strong interaction if non perturbable effects and also some confinement, uh, the south of the confinement and so on. So it's uh, basically about the low, Q, low energy frontier. So my talk will be uh, basically cover the both uh, sides of the low energy frontier and also the uh, uh, also the uh, the high precision frontier. So our main uh, task is to understand non perturbability effect in QCD. And a, and a possible input to uh, to constrain the standard model and also to uh, search for new physics. Uh, so uh, our uh, target or our uh, research object is to study the the hadrons, uh, which uh, involve with the charm quark, which is around the uh, 1.3 GeV, and uh, this is uh, kind of like uh, we can prepare. Uh, probably the QCD just below the perturbative QCD, which is uh, kind of like uh, uh, among the non perturbative and perturbative, uh, perturbative uh, transition uh, region. Uh, uh, not only for this, but also we could use the, uh, the some uh, uh, decay uh, from the uh, charm hydrons uh, goes to uh, the lighter uh, hydron. For example, the hydron uh, with strainness and also with uh, uh, with and also with only UD quark, so uh, so it's a, a very uh, important uh, uh, playground to uh, study the uh, strong interaction. Uh, uh, so, as you know, that uh, there are many uh, from the history that uh, were many uh, different kind of facilities uh, to start to aiming for a uh, study of the charm. It's from the uh, 60s in the last century uh, till now. Uh, there were um, Slider in uh, Frascati, uh, in Slack in, in USA, and also uh, in China, we built uh, the first version of Beijing Electron Positron Collider uh, in uh, 90s, uh, last century. And, and then we update it to the second version of BPC2. And, uh, start from uh, 2008 until now. And uh, there were also machines uh, in Cornell, which is called the uh, CSE, CSSR, is a Chloe, Chloe, uh, Cleo experiment. And also uh, there is also a, a machine in Noah's Peak, uh, which is also uh, actually the, there, is, there were running uh, until now. Uh, so if you see these uh, machines, we will see that uh, their uh, luminosity is getting uh, increased uh, 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 with the, uh, uh, from the old, old period to now. And now this is uh, BPC2, which uh, uh, from 2008 to now, and uh, still we have planned to continue its running, uh, maybe uh, to 2025 or even later. And now also I will give you a little bit of information of the future plan. Uh, in China, it's called the Super Tao Chan Factory uh, with uh, luminosity uh, uh, around uh, 100 times uh, higher uh, than the current running one. Uh, okay, so for the BPC2, uh, 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 it's located in Beijing and also my university is also in Beijing. So we actually, uh, my university is just uh, sharing one uh, big campus with this uh, facility. So it's just uh, like 10 kilometers from the Tiananmen Square. So it's very, uh, very uh, a proper uh, sector uh, in Beijing. Uh, so if you have time, welcome to uh, visit. Uh, so this this collider uh, is is uh, is uh, running the electron positron uh, 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 beams. And uh, the, the, each beam has energy uh, from 1 GeV to uh, 2.3 GeV. Uh, and uh, uh, last year, during the COVID-19 period, actually, uh, the, uh, we never stopped work. So uh, we updated the energy uh, to uh, 2.45 GeV, which ex expand our uh, physics uh, topics 
a little bit uh, uh, more. So well, that's why we, we have new findings. Uh, I will introduce uh, later. Uh, so uh, there is one uh, white detector at the collision point. It's called the uh, Beijing uh, Spectrometer 3 because it's uh, the third generation of this uh, Beijing, Beijing Spectrometer. Uh, so they, uh, we started experiment uh, in 2008 and uh, uh, which is uh, only uh, is in the test mode. And, and from 2009 until now, we are doing the really physics, physics run. Uh, so each year we collect many data and, uh, and uh, we reach the uh, design velocity of uh, 10 to uh, 33 uh, per square meter uh, in 2016. So it's, uh, it's uh, also actually the, the highest uh, luminosity uh, machine uh, in this energy region. So uh, this the bottom chart shows the uh, the current uh, performance of this machine. Uh, so the, the the dotted line shows the uh, theoretical uh, peaking luminosity uh, at a different energy uh, at a different beam energy, and uh, you see that so we are optimize this machine uh, around the uh, the uh, one point eight. Uh, 5 GeV, which co roughly correspond to the Pase, the Pase, the Charmonium state Pase 3770, which is used for uh, the DD bar uh, 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 data taking, and then getting lit, lit, getting down uh, with, with the beam increase. And uh, actually, we already take the, the, the uh, data at a different energy point. This is the the uh, schematic. Uh, layout of the B best three uh, uh, detector. So it's a very uh, uh, generic, uh, the generic purpose uh, spectrometer. It's uh, uh, symmetric uh, to the uh, the beam pipe, and uh, the, uh, the most inner side is the uh, main drift chamber, uh, which uh, has small style and uh, with uh, the helium gas. And also with uh, uh, with a very good uh, space resolution and also momentum resolution, and uh, also uh, we use DDX method to do the uh, particle identification for the char charge tracks, and uh, and uh, a little bit outside is the time of flight detector, uh, which also uh, has a very good uh, time resolution around around the eighty picosecond. Uh, in the barrel part, and also a little bit worse at the uh, inner cap part, is around 110 picosecond. However, uh, in 2018, uh, 2015, we upgrade this part with uh, the uh, the uh, MRPC, uh, the multiware uh, uh, resist plate, uh, to uh, to replace the previous uh, scintillator, uh, plastic scintillator and then reach much better uh, resolution to 60 picosecond. And uh, uh, surrounding the time of flight is the, uh, the electromagnetic uh, calorimeter, uh, which is using uh, CSI uh, crystals and with a very good uh, energy resolution uh, at, uh, for the photon uh, energy measurement and also used for the electron identification. Uh, then a uh, little bit uh, outside is the uh, solenoid magnet, which is supporting the one one Tesla uh, within this uh, within uh, the, the inside the, the drift chamber for the momentum resolution for the momentum measurement. And also we uh, have the immune counter uh, uh, with the uh, the uh, six layer uh, RPC and uh, to uh, do the immune uh, identification. And, uh, and uh, so we, we, this, uh, this uh, detector uh, actually is uh, very, uh, very good for uh, the, uh, this kind of low energy uh, collider, uh, actually will work very well and uh, for the last 12 years. Uh, so it's uh, very robust. And uh, this is a little bit more uh, uh, more details about the specifics of different parts. So I, I might just skip it. Uh, 
Okay, we have very good uh, particle ID uh, cap capacity. Uh, so you see that uh, from the DDX measurements for uh, for the proton, uh, kion, pion, and so on, uh, we have good separation uh, until uh, one GeV, and uh, also uh, it cooperates it's with the time of flight uh, counter. So it's uh, we can perform very well uh, k pi separation uh, for momentum lower than one GeV. And this is the current best three collaboration. So there are around uh, uh, 15 countries and uh, 72 initiatives and around uh, 500 members uh, are from uh, China, from uh, Europe and uh, from USA and uh, also uh, from other Asian countries like India, Pakistan and uh, Turkey and uh, Thailand and so on. Uh, so, uh, so I think it's, uh, it's uh, very, uh, uh, active uh, collaboration and uh, we have a very good uh, uh, outcome. For example, uh, until now, we actually have uh, published uh, uh, 300 uh, papers. So from the uh, from 2010 and uh, now each year we, we publish around 40 papers and, uh, and uh, one fifth of them uh, is, uh, is the PIL papers. Uh, so from the uh, 2008, 2009 to, to, to uh, 2021, so we collect many data points uh, from 2 GeV up to uh, 4.95 GeV. So, and also we, especially we take very high static data at uh, Charmonium uh, state peak, for example, GPSI, uh, we take like a 10 billion GSI events uh, uh, until uh, uh, by 2019. Uh, this is the largest chipset sample in the world. And also now we are taking a very uh, high static psi 2 s sample. Uh, our target is 4 billion. And also very static statics of the DD bar sample uh, at uh, psi uh, 3770. And also uh, uh, some energy scan about uh, 3.8 GeV until, uh, until uh, 4.95. So we, here we can study some uh, exotic charmonium like states and so on. And also some uh, lambda C example for charm bion study. So this is the current uh, uh, basically explain the, the physics we can uh, we can study at the best three. Uh, so from two from two GV to three GV. So this region is uh, kind of like a very uh, smooth uh, from the R value, you can see that uh, it's a very smooth uh, distribution. So here we, it's a very, uh, it's uh, correspond to the low Q square energy region. So we could uh, study some uh, uh, hydron pair uh, threshold effect. For example, the baryon pair, uh, the lambda pair, the, the sigma pair, and also or, uh, also the cascade pair. Uh, so uh, we could study their uh, production. Um, and also uh, their operation and also their decay uh, through some quantum uh, correlation uh, in the production uh, process. And also some light hydron uh, rarenesses like Y2175 uh, and also study the, uh, the R to measure price measurement of R value and also some multi pion um, production cross section which is important to, uh, as input to the J minus two calculation, and also the fragmentation function and so on, and uh, also uh, above the uh, the little bit above energy from uh, three point one GeV to uh, three point uh, seven GeV, uh, we take data at uh, charmonium peak like chip sign of set two S. So through the its uh, decays, uh, we could study the uh, some light hydron spectroscopy. Uh, and also some global search, and also uh, using the very high statics charmonium uh, peak data, we could uh, look for some rare process like lepton flavor uh, variation or CP variation uh, of the high prompt of the high prompt decays, and also some rare and forbidden decays, and also uh, one important result from best is the, the tall mass measurement. Uh, which is very important uh, to uh, to uh, for the uh, for the electroweak uh, theory, and also above the uh, DD bar threshold, 
uh, we we until the the upper the most uh, uppermost energy we could study the uh, so called X Y Z energy region for X Y Z study and also uh, study the D mesen decays and uh, also D D zero uh, mixing and also some uh, their strong phase measurement and also charm bion decays and so on. So it's a very rich program. Uh, so I would a uh, little bit uh, elaborate some uh, highlight of the current uh, base three uh, achievement. For example, uh, why we it's called a charm factory? It's because it produce very high statics uh, charm baron or charm mason, uh, and also it has a very unique uh, uh, physics uh, physics advantage. For example. The in the near threshold, if the two D zero, D zero and D zero bar, they are they are produced in a quantum coherent uh, state of C out quantum coherence. So we could uh, uh, access the D decays uh, by by uh, using this uh, quantum coherent uh, information. We could uh, uh, measure access some unique information. For example, the D uh, D zero decay strong phase and so on. And also the 2D is uh, produced, uh, uh, the 2D zero bar here is produced at at rest. So uh, when 1D zero is, is measured or detected, then we could uh, uh, postulate that the other side must exist uh, uh, another uh, opposite uh, charm uh, D method. So it's so-called uh, tag and also the, the double tag uh, method. Uh, similar uh, similar logic also applies for the lambda C pair production. So because it's also produced uh, at a threshold, uh, the the threshold of the two uh, lambda C pair. Uh, so it, the two lambda C also has some uh, uh, correlation in, in spin correlation, and also there uh, uh, we could also use the, the so called tag method. So uh, there is a one very uh, Clean uh, observable uh, for the D decay is to measure its D goes to purely new uh, lepton uh, final state. So leptonic final states mean that uh, it will decay to either uh, charged lepton or, or, or the neutrino. So uh, through this process, we could uh, well separate the electronic part and also the hydronic part. So we could. Uh, uh, we could use uh, this decay uh, to extract the uh, the most suppressed direct measurement direct measurements of the VCD or VCS, and also uh, by intro by introducing the lattice calculation of the decay constant, which calculates the hydronic part, uh, very precisely. Uh, and also uh, there is another uh, important reaction is uh, the semi leptonic decays. Which d goes to uh, uh, d goes to one hydron or, or two hydrons and so on plus uh, uh, two leptons. So this process actually that we can uh, access the so-called uh, 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 the q square uh, dependent form factors from the d to uh, a meson p, and uh, we this. Form factor information uh, will uh, reflect the involved non perturbative effect, uh, which can calibrate the QCD models and also latex QCD. And also, a little bit more complex part is the dehydronic decays, uh, which could uh, test the ISO spin effect uh, in charm decays and also SU3 flavor symmetry, and also uh, many different uh, decay. Mechanics uh, uh, in, with re respect to the different amplitude tree diagram and also penguin and so on. Uh, so there also involves many uh, uh, difficult issues in uh, non perturbative QCD, for example, the long distance effect, final state interaction, and so on. So uh, this all this information from experiments uh, will definitely improve our understanding of the, of the uh, QCD model. So uh, one of the main uh, phys physics is to determine the uh, CKM metric elements 
uh, VCS VCD. So we expect that at base three, we could provide the direct measurement of these two elements uh, uh, with precision uh, lower, low, uh, much better than two percent. And uh, this, and also uh, we could uh, use the uh, the base three measurements of the uh, strong phase to help to uh, combine with the B factory uh, measurements of the B decays to uh, to dimerson plus uh, hydron uh, to uh, measure the CKM universality, uh, unitarity triangle, gamma angle. So it's very important to over constrain the, the, the uh, CKM uh, matrix and then uh, to try to uh, find a hint of the uh, new physics or the new source of CPRation. Uh, so the the idea is that uh, with this uh, uh, the pair production at near threshold, so neither D Mason or lambda C uh, bearing, so we could uh, use the uh, many uh, kinematic constraints and also the uh, missing uh, mass technique to uh, reconstruct the neutrino in the final state. So this is a very uh, unique at the best three, uh, which is a little bit difficult for uh, for other uh, experiments. Uh, so, for, for example, I will first a little bit introduce the charm Mason decays. So, uh, so we measured the many different uh, uh, charm Mason purely electronic decays. Uh, for example, d plus to mu, nu, and uh, you see uh, very clean. Uh, signal around zero for this uh, missing mass square, which correspond to the neutrino mass. So uh, you see that a very clean signal and a very uh, well modeled uh, background, and uh, uh, with very uh, very very uh, good precision of the around the five percent. And also we uh, we measured the uh, publish the uh, ds go to mu nu, and the ds uh, goes to tau nu. Uh, which tau goes to pi nu. So this, this, uh, so you will see that this dotted blue line uh, represents the ds to tau nu uh, signals. So, uh, so this is the most prized measurement uh, in the world about this uh, uh, purely electronic decay at branching ratio. So through this branching ratio, we could extract the uh, VCD and the VCS uh, in the most prized way. Uh, uh, so you will see that uh, uh, from this uh, purely lepton decay, uh, you will see that from base three, uh, we we can borrow the the calculation from light QCD, which uh, shows the yellow band. It's from the uh, latex QCD, uh, and uh, and if, if you uh, if you can compare with the base three amendment of this FD plus, you see that this is really uh, is really quite advanced in precision. A similar case for the DS uh, decay constant. We see that the, the above all group, and you see very, uh, very price measurement. So uh, so we could uh, uh, actually uh, bother their uh, calcul calculation and uh, then uh, input to this uh, uh, equation and then extract. Uh, so this part will be uh, input uh, and then we can extract this uh, VCD and VCS. Uh, okay, so uh, the, also I would uh, uh, mention about this uh, D uh, or DS, a semi leptonic case. Uh, so this part we can measure this form factor by uh, with the input of the VCD or VCS. And also we can also uh, use the uh, Calculated uh, uh, form factor to extract the VCD or VCS. So it's a different, uh, uh, depends on how you would uh, use uh, this uh, result. Uh, so we measured the uh, most price measurement of the D to K minus E nu and, uh, and the D to uh, pi minus E nu, and also the D plus and the, uh, to K or D plus to pi zero, and also. Uh, this is the ds to eta and the ds to eta prime. So you see very uh, clean signals and a well controlled uh, background. So these are all very most pressed results. And also, uh, causing mu channel, uh, we could do a similar way. So the, this is the d0 to pi nu and the d plus to pi nu. And also the uh, d0 to k mu and 
and uh, also d plus to uh, k k zero uh, uh, d plus to k uh, k mu nu. So these these are all uh, the most price one. And uh, from this uh, measurement, we could uh, input the VCD or VCS and extract the uh, form factor. Um, so you see that uh, the best three uh, provide the most price uh, form factor measurement uh, uh, for the uh, D to K or the uh, D to pi form factor. Uh, you'll see that this yellow band again uh, represents the lattice QCD calculation. So you'll see that uh, the best three uh, measurements uh, would uh, uh, really uh, precisely calibrate the, the lattice QCD calculation. Uh, so we see that the the future best three will accumulate uh, five times more uh, D data. So the future uh, precision would be much uh, better than the current results uh, for the D to K or D to Pi uh, 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 channels. So, uh, so we ex we would expect that the lattice QCD will will need uh, more efforts to reduce their uncertainty and then uh, compare with best three measurement. And also, this is a DS to eta and eta prime uh, form factor measurement. So you see that. Uh, uh, the best three uh, results actually uh, have a strong uh, evidence of the deviation from the lattice QCD calculation uh, for the uh, DS to eta. So it means that uh, uh, the lattice group need uh, some some periods on this work. Uh, need, maybe need some uh, modification uh, in their calculation, uh, and also for these two uh, calculations. So. Uh, for the uh, for the DS to the product because the error bar uh, from best is a little bit uh, large. Uh, all these measurement are, are are the first one uh, in the world. Uh, so there is only experiment information uh, now for these two form factors. Uh, okay, I, here I show the best precision of the VCD and the VCS measurement from best. It's all based on the uh, purely leptonegative case. You see, these are the best three, current best measurement of best three, uh, VCD and also VCS. And uh, you will see that uh, uh, the best three measurement is the best. And uh, and uh, we if, so the future would uh, be that we want to improve this precision uh, in order to uh, compare with the uh, worldwide uh, uh, fit result because this uh, yellow band shows the uh, the uh, uh, the PDG value, which is uh, obtained from the uh, from the uh, the the indirect uh, measurement by uh, considering the C CKM matrix element CKM matrix. So uh, means that uh, the current value seems some uh, uh, have some deviation from the direct measurement. So we would. Uh, uh, in the future, uh, try to uh, do better and uh, to show whether there is a real uh, dev deviation from the current result. So this is the, uh, the prospects uh, for with the five more data set. And uh, so we will see in the future. And also we could study the uh, lepton uh, flavor universality. Uh, this is some, uh, it's uh, like the, uh, to Compare the uh, D goes to uh, mu semi-electron mode and also the uh, D goes to electron semi-semi mode. Uh, so uh, we the the ratio can cancel out many uh, QCD uh, uh, hydronic uh, uncertainty and uh, expect that uh, this ratio could be more sensitive to the uh, contribution from the uh, new physics. Uh, I think the most most uh, uh, sensitive part is the RDS, which measures the DS go to tau nu uh, over DS to mu nu. So we expect that uh, uh, this could uh, provide some uh, hint or constraint to the uh, some new physics model. And uh, again, uh, best we publish the uh, the strong phase measurement of the D uh, D two K short HH. So this is a uh, uh, 
a kind of self conjugate three body process, which can be combined with the B uh, factory uh, management of the B goes to DH. And uh, we could extract the uh, the gamma angle uh, with the uh, so-called B BPGGSD method. And uh, also it's useful to uh, to extract the charm mixing parameters uh, by using this uh, charm of strong phase information. Uh, and the best three, uh, again, uh, taking advantage is uh, quantum coherence uh, production. So it uh, could uh, directly measure its strong phase. So we published the uh, D2 Kishot Pi Pi and D2 Kishot KK. And uh, with this input, the recent RCB gamma, gamma angle and measurement uh, have uh, published their results, shown that uh, this uh, our results as input to uh, the gamma measurement RCB would reduce the relative uh, relevant systematics uh, down to one degree. So it's very uh, important because you know, uh, in the future, uh, the run, run three uh, of the RCB, uh, they will uh, reduce the uh, total uncertainty of the gamma uh, better than one degree. So it's, uh, so the, this, this input is very important uh, for the future RCB uh, measurement uh, about gamma angle. Uh, also, I would uh, uh, men mention a little bit the uh, current lambda C uh, charm bion decays at the best three. So three. So you see, we published many results uh, from uh, 2015 until now, uh, and uh, this lambda C is interesting because it's the lightest uh, charm bion, and uh, with uh, uh, UD is uh, with naive quark model that UD is in the uh, in the no spin and the no iso spin zero and the spin zero uh, uh, UD die quark and another heavier charm quark. So this kind of like a very naive uh, picture. So uh, in some sense, this uh, its decay is can be compared with the D meson or, or uh, DS meson uh, in order to understand the uh, the uh, non perturbative effect uh, QCD. Uh, inside the charm decays. Uh, so we published a few uh, interesting results. For example, we published the first absolute measurement of lambda C hydronic decays uh, using the threshold data. Uh, we use the so-called double tag over single tag uh, uh, measurement to to measure this uh, uh, the, the relative decay rate, uh, which uh, can give uh, kind of like a model independent um, branching ratio measurement. So we provide them. Uh, we 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 uh, we uh, combine the twelve hydronic mode and do a simultaneous global fit. Uh, so we obtain the very uh, uh, very uh, price results of the branching ratio of the twelve hydronic modes, uh, which are all the uh, most price one uh, compared to the PTG uh, results and. Uh, and this uh, this results actually uh, help the the uh, many uh, different uh, charm bion uh, models to uh, calibrate their uh, parameters. And also, we do the first measurement of the uh, absolute branching ratio uh, for the uh, lambda C to lambda E nu. So this is the uh, the largest branching uh, largest uh, uh, decay model. Largest branching more for the lambda C uh, decays uh, with, uh, uh, with the uh, leptons in the final state. And uh, we use the so-called uh, missing uh, uh, mass energy uh, method to see the, the uh, a very clean signal around zero, which corresponds to the neutrino, uh, because there is one uh, missing particle in the final state. And we provide the most price uh, measurement of the uh, branching ratio of the, this semi lepton decay. And also uh, this triggers the first uh, lattice calculation of the, uh, the, of the lambda C semi lepton decays. Uh, so uh, their calculation shows that uh, the branching ratio results is uh, consistent with the uh, best three results. Uh, and also they provide the uh, Q square dependent form factor uh, or Q square dependent partial weights of this decay mode. So, 
Uh, in the future, uh, we will have uh, 10 more LMC data on tape now. Uh, so we will gonna uh, measure uh, the uh, form factor and then compare with the lattice calculation. So uh, then I move to the hydron uh, landscape. So you see that the best three not only uh, study the Chang Bion or Chang Mason decays, actually they can study uh, many different kinds of uh, hydron, especially the hydron stretch copy. Uh, there are two ways to do that. One is that uh, uh, is through the uh, charmonium relieved decays uh, to study the light hydrons, which uh, uh, which uh, the light hydron means that it consists only light quarks for the UDS quark. Uh, we are now already have one 10 billion GSI on tape and also 0 0.4 billion psi 2s. So you that uh, this uh, light hydron actually uh, have uh, energy, have mass around uh, uh, below uh, 2.5 GeV, and uh, so we could uh, uh, study their uh, properties uh, in, in, with the partial wave analysis. And also we can study the heavy hydrons, with, uh, which uh, consist of the charm quark. So uh, so we basically, for this kind of heavy uh, hydrons, uh, for example, with the, uh, for this CC bar, a QQ bar, uh, its mass is around uh, 3 uh, GV to uh, 5 GV. So we at best 3, we could directly produce it through the direct production or the, uh, the radiative or hydronic transition. So we use data above uh, 3.0 GV. So the right, the right uh, uh, panel shows the, uh, the, uh, the data we have collected uh, Used for XYZ studies, so about uh, 3.8 GV around the uh, 23 inverse Fender bar. Uh, so it takes around uh, uh, six or seven years uh, so far. Uh, one important physics uh, we want to uh, in, uh, entangle is that uh, there are over overpopulated charmonium spectrum. You will see that there are many predicted. Uh, 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 normal charmonium states, uh, which show the, uh, the, 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 the rectangle here. However, uh, there are also many confirmed, for example, uh, for the state below D, uh, the open charm threshold or the DD bar mass threshold. Uh, it's well, the experiment observation is, uh, is well uh, uh, consistent with the uh, theoretical prediction. However, above the DD bar, uh, you said uh, uh, we see many uh, structures or states uh, in experiment. However, they are actually not real uh, consistent or agree with the uh, theoretical predictions. So we, we there are some of them are neutral uh, states, some of them are charged states. Uh, so we call this state is, is X Y Z state, means that they are not we are not sure about their exact property. Uh, and uh, so we, that's however one interesting uh, feature is that all these states, so-called XYZ states, they are very close to some uh, uh, the pair of terms. So there are theoretical uh, models explain that some of this state actually is not a real particle, but some uh, uh, some uh, couple channel effect or some uh, uh, cusp effect and uh, and so on. So uh, so means that it's really a little bit complex uh, for the moment, but uh, it it deserves more efforts to really understand the, their nature. So the first set of X Y Z study is from best is uh, we discovered four charged these states uh, in two thousand thirteen and two thousand fourteen. So we have very famous ZC thirteen nine hundred observed in E plus E minus go to pi plus pi minus GSI in the MMS spectrum of charged pi on plus a GSI. So it's see a very narrow peak around uh, three point nine GeV, and uh, and we cannot explain it with any of the uh, pi pi uh, resonances. So uh, so we 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 attribute it to as a new. Uh, states uh, of the uh, pi uh, And also we 
observe the similar uh, uh, enhancement uh, with a very close mass uh, in the E plus minus two pi DD star. Uh, and near this DD star uh, stretch hold, we see very uh, sharp peak with a very narrow waist uh, enhancement, and its mass is very close to this C3900, and they are charged. So, uh, so they are regarded as the so-called tetraquark candidate. Uh, and also in the E plus E minus go to pi plus pi minus HC. Uh, in the environmental so charged pi on the HC uh, final state, uh, we uh, also a sharp peak uh, around the uh, 4.02 GeV. And uh, so also cannot explain by any uh, pi pi uh, references. Uh, a similar thing happens to the E plus E minus to uh, charge pi on plus to D star, uh, which are a charged pair. So uh, you see that they, for this uh, over the uh, the sum of the charge is is uh, is charged of the d plus d star uh, d star bar. Uh, so you see the enhancement around the uh, threshold of d star d star. So and also their mass are very close. So uh, that's what happens uh, by two thousand fourteen. And uh, later we measure this uh, uh, this thirteen nine hundred using the very uh, more data set uh, at the, at the four point two three and four point six GV, and uh, we do the partial wave analysis, and uh, we we measure its uh, spin parity uh, is uh, uh, is is favor one plus. It's also uh, consistent with many uh, theoretical uh, pre uh, predictions. Uh, and also we find uh, later we later two years we also uh, find their uh, corresponding iso spin uh, partners because they, as they are charged so they should have iso spin one so they should exist the uh, the uh, the neutral partner so we we found uh, uh, four partners for each of them uh, for example we have neutral zc 3900 and ZC4020 uh, and ZC3995 uh, and also ZC2025. Uh, so they, they all find the corresponding uh, neutral part. And uh, so this all the, uh, the, uh, the ZC states are very uh, well established. And it's uh, ZC3900 is also being confirmed at Kaleo C results. So, uh, so the question that uh, since this DC state uh, contains uh, U D quark and C C bar, uh, I if they are real, uh, uh, a real code, uh, so they should uh, it's the corresponding S C U three uh, counterpart, so called this state with stress. So it's like it the D quark with the quark. So it's this this DC. There are the main ways and uh, and uh, the information uh, for computation. So for now, we always uh, attribute uh, ZC thirteen nine hundred ZC eight eighty five with similar that one state, but uh, didn't uh, became out. And also about uh, the other state, but uh, two different uh, became out. However, this is just uh, an uh, easy assumption. Uh, uh, so further work needs to really understand whether they are same same state or uh, or they are, they are actually different. So uh, actually, uh, more more uh, ongoing S three with some couple channel amplitude and and so on. Uh, okay, uh, talking about the test, so uh, it also goes to the new taking in last year. Uh, so last year upgrade our energy uh, beyond for to three GV means that the, the total of energy go beyond the four point six GV. So we, we take uh, five energy points uh, from four point two. Six two to one seven uh, plus one luminosity energy point. So in the last year, uh, we analyzed uh, with this data 
target is to uh, actually to is the y so the y of 630 and y 4660 because they are all, uh, this uh, t 60 actually by uh, 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 by bar bar uh, it's another high state uh, uh, you will see the uh, expander so uh, y t 660 is observed by bio uh, at, for the C uh, cross section. Uh, so we we data in this energy points, uh, but we find things. Uh, in this set, we 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 this uh, process so called plus minus three star minus zero or d class k plus s minus d zero star. So uh, these two process, uh, the purpose is to look for the so called ZC because uh, I explained uh, in the previous that uh, if uh, this they exist, there should be CS if this in uh, work well in quark model. So we select the way to uh, enhance the uh, detection C, uh, we, we only have partial recognition. We detect uh, only K plus and uh, a S minus, and then we, we we call this K and S, look for the star zero. Or we could also recall, uh, the recall, so we also could uh, see this uh, D zero plus uh, a pi zero photon, uh, which peak around this, around this star zero. Uh, so see that uh, these are the uh, clean DS signal, and also the recurrent of KDS, you very clean uh, the star there uh, peak. By seeing this uh, candidate out, uh, we plot the recoil map which come to the uh, DS, uh, D star zero or S star minus zero in RMS. So we see uh, after we uh, remove background, we see uh, enhancement around the, uh, below 4G, which is to the marriage code of this DSD star zero. And you see that is plot on the right, right side. Uh, you see a clean uh, code uh, gathering uh, around this uh, recurrent mass town. So you don't see the kind of structure in the so called round sample, or which represents the curve background. So, if you look to this uh, uh, spectrum, uh, we actually uh, the first hydrogen tetraquark candidate is Rinnes, so called ZCS985. Uh, and we have a mass and a measurement, uh, which is very close to the uh, threshold DS star zero, DS star uh, DZ. This is uh, uh, interesting. And also, we do linear tenures to different energy, and we see cross section, uh, cross section, uh, version, uh, a very clear enhancement around the uh, 4.8 G. So, that is there are some uh, uh, great uh, dependence which uh, enhance the, uh, the uh, ECS production. Uh, if we compare this ECS with D, you see that they are almost to the uh, to the charm uh, charm mass pair mass road, similar to the uh, ZC or ZB, uh, which corresponds to the DD star BB star. So uh, so it's very interesting, and there are many different models to explain it. Uh, interesting is that uh, before we publish this result, uh, there was one uh, workshop uh, about a uh, Chang project in China and also in Russia. Uh, Malik gave a comment on the super Chang. So one of the important uh, mission of the Chang is to, to find the CS. However, we did that before the uh, super Chang may be uh, realized. Uh, so there are many different uh, scenarios to explain this uh, state. Uh, one, one interesting thing is uh, for uh, ZS785, uh, 
uh, in case it's you, you're gonna exist in empirical model, you it, it's gonna exist only different uh, different uh, forms. So it's not because a pion exchange a pipe bond, but some others, for example, neutral uh, neutral uh, one for eta or some uh, others. And also, uh, as you know that uh, after S3 published this, this is uh, RCB also published uh, their their observation with the S thousand. So which are in the B uh, K GFSI phi and in the K GFSI spectrum, they they uh, they report a very broad VS references with the partial VSs. So, however, the math is very close, as you see the numbers. However, their weights are very different. Uh, they, uh, they, uh, the 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 force is around the two mm. However, for best, it's uh, only less than ten mm. So, so it's, it's the uh, we still are sure what made this difference. Anyway, it's a very interesting. Uh, also, uh, uh. Report about the white state. It's it's called white because uh, it's a new it's a neutral uh, particle which is directly from the plus minus annihilation. And uh, uh, from history, uh, the first eye is observed by bar bar. Uh, they observe uh, y c two sixty from the e plus minus to pi pi GSI. And uh, later uh, they report the. Uh, the Y360 pipe pipe side tools, and uh, also Y460 uh, with uh, combined that of the uh, pipe pipe twist. Uh, shall uh, we? I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, there is a question. Uh, your voice is breaking right now, so I don't know if we could just try. You could just. Switch off and switch on your microphone because now your voice was breaking in the last few slides a lot. Could we just try that? Uh, so you, you want uh, what do we do? do? Uh, so if you could just uh, unplug, unplug, uh, just switch off and just click on your microphone and click on it again. Yes, just to try okay. because your voice was breaking a lot. So, okay, let's try okay. now. Okay. Okay, I I I, I use it. Okay. Okay. Please please go on. Let's see now. Okay. Uh let me continue. Yes, please. Okay. So uh okay, as you said uh, uh Barbary published the uh, Y4260 uh, in PyPy uh, final list. and uh, they see the uh, line shape uh, the line shape uh, uh, as a different energy and at best we did the uh, fine at a different point we take that and uh, to look for PyPy GSI final rate. Uh, we see that uh, at a different point there are some uh, uh, variation of this uh, 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 section, especially around the 4.26 GV. This is a very consistent with the uh, bar uh, observation. How if we uh, uh, do the fine, we found that uh, uh, actually the relationship is not a simple, uh, simple uh, beginner, because that is the same uh, and, uh, 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 structure uh, around uh, 4.2 GV. Uh, so we are uh, fit to the, this fine structure and uh, not only to this uh, high and luminosity data, but also to the more statics uh, and data. So we see that actually there can be size two, uh, we can explain it the two states. One is uh, with uh, with lower than uh, 4.2 GV, but 4.22 GV, the very narrow uh, 40 GV, and it's a little bit uh, higher uh, uh, from the 32 GV, a little bit wider uh, other ways. 
Uh, so that this Y two sixty actually not uh, one brave winner, but actually it's uh, considered at two brave winner. And this this four point two two G actually being had confirmed uh, with different uh, final rates. For example, uh, uh, E plus U two, E plus pi minus C, and uh, omega chi C zero, and uh, E to J S R and uh, and uh, and also pi uh, zero d star minus. So you see that uh, all have be fitted with uh, 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 with the uh, a regular randomness uh, which has a mass below four to six GV. But um, also another higher uh, uh, mass randomness on the uh, four to uh, three GV. So. Uh, it's the new picture of what we see as three about this state. And also I, I uh, mentioned a bit about the light study at the best. So this light hydron usually uh, uh, based on the how many radio based. Uh, in the below diagram show uh, what different the light hydrons from uh, the uh, the terminal with the case which is a bit it will be a range so we can look for global also the glue glue uh, uh another pair of uh, a quark which is the hybrid and also some other kind of things uh, maybe uh two quark meson or four quark meson so on uh one uh one of the uh we one of the numerous results is a is so called XPB bar or XT35 uh, from the case. But at the best, too, uh, the, third, the second generation has uh, detector, uh, which is a uh, 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 XP bar much uh, constant. Uh, this is the side to gamma bar. So, this final, uh, if you look at the PB bar, MS is very clean constant around the, around this threshold. So at the back we confirm that this uh, is uh, uh, you and uh, only for the but also the partial wave analysis and uh, this, this XPR enhancement with the parity, with the uh, quantum uh, nine zero uh, minus and uh, it's way is below. Uh, Thirty uh, six TV, and uh, also we in the uh, process of the cycle photon mass in the prime pi, uh, we see a uh, structure around the point uh, eight three five TV around here uh, at the best. Uh, this eighteen thirty five. Is also at best three, much larger than that. Uh, so not only uh, we can see this, but also see more more structures. And we call X twenty twenty two and X twenty three C. So this X eighty thirty four is believed to be connected with the XPR because they are very close. Uh, so you see that this map is. Uh, 1836 MeV and the coherent just accent the X30 X1835 is also with the mass of 1836 MeV. So very interesting. Uh, their mass are different. So we 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 might not sure about the real uh the real uh physics, but the, the uh, we need to look, look on more things. So we created the similar uh different uh, relative uh, decay states for Jepside photon K the eta and uh Jeb go to K Tom uh, omega uh, omega and uh Photon plus pions and omega eta pi. So all different uh, states, uh, fraction channels, 
we see a bump structure all around the, the PP bar uh, edge hold and all below it, or roughly close. Sorry, Shahui. Uh, we're, we're still, yeah. we are still, your voice is still breaking. So I'm going to ask you to let's try one more thing. How about we, you, you switch off your camera. Maybe we hear you better. We want to just try. To just switch okay. off your camera and then please. Okay. I will. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, yeah, okay, I will keep it. Uh, okay, so you see that uh, there are many uh, different uh, final stages where we all show a uh, resonance uh, around uh, the uh, PP bar thread. Uh, so uh, with uh, the uh, around the wailing tip side event, uh, which clicked uh, by uh, 2012, uh, we said in to uh, photon plus the prime pi pi. Uh, we very clean, uh, very clean, uh, very clear uh, bump structure around the uh, 1835 uh, and also a uh, later uh, bump. I usually think that if you look carefully at this uh, line around this uh, 1805. Uh, this dotted medical line shows the uh, the mass, mass of uh, two proton. So that is the threshold of PP. But see that uh, on this uh, line, you see very sharp uh, uh, X in 35 shape. The very mass prime pi pi. Observed in two prime decay channel. Why the Photon plus pi pi, another is uh, eta plus pi pi. It's an interesting feature. Means this uh, very significant uh, distortion of the um, pi pi line in the XPV bar threshold. So it's a very, uh, very, very clear signal that this XPV bar and X1835 will be very connected and uh, and uh, and do the do a feed to this uh, to this uh, uh, notation, and uh, and show that uh, uh, maybe uh, this feature can be explained by uh, IP bar plus one additional Mobray Wigner uh, references around the uh, eighteen twenty MeV, nineteen twenty MeV, uh, or it can be explained by a coherent sum of x x. 1875 plus a narrow Brevina at uh, 1870. So for the moment, the, the plot is, is only one divisional feed. So now we are doing a more sophisticated partial wave analysis to do the couple channel analysis of this uh, photon plus eta prime pi pi and the photon plus PP bar. So it's ongoing and it will be very interesting. And also for this uh, light hadron spectrum, we have another Y, so called Y state, is called the uh, uh, Phi 2170, uh, which is seen by Barbar and the Bell uh, in, the, uh, in the direct production of E plus and minus, uh, goes to, uh, for example, goes to the uh, Phi 0 Phi. And uh, so the best two confirm this. Uh, in the phi F0 final state. And uh, there are, so at the best three, we do many uh, measurements at a different uh, final state, and uh, we confirm this uh, uh, peak structure around uh, uh, so uh, 4.2.17 GV. It is uh, explained as uh, uh, many different uh, kind of scenario. Uh, the SS uh, the SS grown hybrid, and also some uh, strontium uh, excited states, and also even tetraquark state or molecule state or, or two hyperon lambda lambda bar and so on. So it's not clear yet, but anyway, we we uh, 
at the best three, we we look for many different kind of uh, hydron hydron final state, including the lambda number the uh, the kk pi pi, uh, and also the four k on and the five kk and the five eta prime and so on. Uh, we see uh, we, uh, structure around this uh, uh, mass region. And uh, and so they are, if we compile them all here, so we see that uh, they are similar, uh, quite close or quite similar. And uh, seems that many work uh, need to uh, down to really understand them. Uh, last part I explain is, is a little bit about the, uh, the, the so-called form factor of bions. So uh, in the universe, EMS, uh, collision, we could uh, produce uh, hydrons uh, from at the threshold. Uh, for bions, uh, at their mass, their uh, threshold is, is uh, start from around the 2 GeV up to uh, uh, 3 or higher. So best 3 actually is a very nice place to study the, uh, the threshold effect of the two bion uh, production. And it's always connected with the so-called the time-like form factor. Uh, uh, that this uh, uh, hydron production can be uh, uh, described by this uh, electromagnetic form factor, and uh, which could affect its internal uh, inter uh, structure of the bions. And this can be complementary to the so-called uh, space-like region, which uh, bion is uh, is uh, uh, is uh, can be uh, interact with the uh, the virtual photon, and uh, this way. The so called uh, this uh, so called uh, deep in elastic carrying and so on, they could uh, in, in the space in another way to look into its structure. So, uh, this these two kinds of way uh, can be uh, combined uh, and uh, together to help understand the internal structure of different kinds of uh, hydron. Uh, so, uh, one interesting thing is that uh, at best three. Uh, we see one clear enhancement near the threshold of the uh, the, the bion pair production. For example, if you look at the the proton anti proton uh, cross section uh, from threshold up to much higher energy, you see the cross section actually is higher, uh, is the highest uh, near threshold, which goes down uh, uh, as the function as energy goes goes up. Also, we could measure the form factor uh, through this formula, uh, the, which this GM is, is the magnetic part and also G is the electronic part. And their ratio uh, could be tracked from the angle uh, distribution. And uh, we see, uh, we can measure its ratio energy uh, as a function of energy, and also uh, the, uh, their absolute form factor uh, as a function of energy. and uh, one interesting effect is that if we uh, uh, measure the so-called effective uh, form factor, which is defined as a combination of the GE and the GM, and if we fit with the dipole model, we see that uh, there is a, a deviation from this dipole model uh, with a kind of like fluctuation or so-called oscillation, uh, which uh, uh, is really uh, interesting. Uh, so the oscillation uh, is, uh, is a little bit uh, uh, going down as, as energy is, uh, goes up. Uh, so this, uh, this is uh, actually uh, being observed at firstly at the Barbar experiment in, in USA. And also uh, we confirm this uh, oscillation uh, in the data. Also similar thing happens for the uh, neutron, anti-neutron. Uh, this method is very. This measurement is very challenging because you know neutron and anti neutron are difficult to detect it, uh, in uh, in in the normal uh, spectrometer. So we uh, so we use three different methods to do the to do the method uh, to do the measurement. Uh, basically uh, relying on the very very fine tuned uh, tough time of flight detector and also the ele electromagnetic parameter. Uh, so we anyway we we realize the experiment the measurement and measure the uh, uh, cross section of the uh, neutron anti neutron, and uh, we see a similar enhancement near near the threshold 
this is the cross section uh, result, and this is the points are best three results. And also, these are the uh, ratio of the two factor, and uh, these are the absolute form factor uh, of the uh, the uh, GFG. Uh, if we compare the uh, the cross section uh, between uh, proton anti proton and and neutron anti neutron, you see that uh, the uh, the cross section of the uh, neutron uh, actually is uh, lower than the uh, proton, and uh, and uh, the the ratio actually is not consistent as energy uh, at different energy point. So there are some variations. Uh, especially some drop around uh, 2.2 GeV, uh, but but uh, yeah, the 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 this theoretical prediction on this is not really uh, being uh, being confirmed. So we we need uh, uh, I think the model needs to be improved. Uh, another interesting is that we do also see the oscillation uh, of this uh, this effective effective of uh, form factor. Uh, dipole model. Uh, you see these uh, uh, neutron points, they also oscillate and, and as energy goes up. And this uh, oscillation seems uh, has some phase shift from the neutron uh, oscillation, which is, uh, is, um, is here is shown here as the, these uh, uh, pink points. So it's very interesting. And also, uh, we could uh, uh, measure this uh, uh, hyperon part, not only uh, nucleon, but also hyperon. So we could produce hyperon uh, uh, at a different points, uh, uh, especially near threshold. So the hyperon uh, pair produced, which they are, uh, we could measure the hyperon decays because the hyperon always decay in weak, in weak decay. So we could uh, actually probe its separation this means that uh, uh, with the as the two hyperon are co are being correlated, so their operation also being uh, correlated. Uh, we would uh, uh, do the measurement of the two hyperon pair uh, decays and measure this uh, the hyperon operation uh, as a, as different energy points. So the the operation are are formulated in the measurement are formulated in the, this uh, formula. So this delta phi reflects the uh, the uh, the operation of the hyperon uh, 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 at different energy points and also the uh, the angle dependence. So you would see that uh, uh, we actually can see the uh, the lambda lambda bar uh, pair production at an, at the cross section uh, at energy uh, point. Uh, goes up, its uh, correlation goes down. It also shows some uh, uh, near threshold enhancement. And uh, we see also kind of like uh, a polarization effect, which uh, is uh, uh, reflected by this data file. Uh, in zero. Uh, so uh, another interesting feature that by uh, looking at the lambda lambda bar uh, uh, polarization, uh, we could uh, we could not only uh, probe this polarization uh, effect, but also uh, this polarization actually can help us to uh, precisely determine the lambda decay, asym decay uh, 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 asymmetry. Because the lambda decay to p proton pion is, uh, is a weak process. And uh, so their, their uh, inference of the S and the P wave uh, could be uh, much well determined by uh, by using these uh, two con spin correlated uh, lambda pair. So we actually consider this uh, uh, lambda to p pi or anti lambda to anti proton uh, pi plus. There are two decay decay symmetry can be uh, measured very in a very precise way. Uh, so you see this is the new best result, and uh, uh, you see that it, uh, especially for the uh, Lambda to p proton pi minus, the result is is much different from the previous experimental results, and actually this actually uh, correct a long history and an estimation of this uh, uh, decay asymmetry. Uh, why it's it's gonna affect many uh, measurements which with the lambda uh, involved. Uh, 
uh, in the uh, operation uh, measurement and, and the spin uh, measurement. Uh, and also, BAS3 provided the most price measurement of the anti lambda decay asymmetry. And the difference comes to the uh, research. And similar can be done for the uh, uh, And so, that very, uh, so this is the thing. Uh, uh, Positive. Uh, uh, this seems a uh, delta phi is a uh, uh, is a negative delta phi value operation fact. However, in slight quest, the kill sigma the opposite sign of the operation. So it's a uh, uh, very interesting uh, uh, feature. Also, we measure the decimetry of the sigma with the uh, price precision, uh, very nice precision, and uh, and the uh, uh, negative one as uh, a uh, negative one, the uh, sigma plus and the sigma minus are uh, the two uh, different particles. Uh, uh, same thing uh, can be to the lambda C decimetry and also whether it's uh, symmetry, it's a uh, parallel effect. Okay, I guess I, I was the one and with the best three uh, selected out. And for the future, uh, we actually published the viber of best three in last year. Um, it's uh, gonna it's summarize the future plan, uh, what we're gonna do. So the target is the data that we pay. Uh, so we're gonna we collect maybe in site OS. Uh, after we finish, uh, we already have the 10 billion, and also in the future will run energy uh, up to 4.9 G and uh, take data. So it's like uh, run this machine uh, uh, until another uh, at least uh, uh, five years, roughly. And also for this 10 billion GSI, you know that we have not really published any results based on this 10 billion GSI. But if you look on the history that with the more and more GSI events, we find many new features in hydron spectroscopy. For example, the XPV bar in the uh, in the last century, uh, we see a little bit the hint here uh, with uh, roughly uh, 10 times, uh, we see very clear enhancements and also we see the uh, X30, X1835. Uh, and uh, at the best three, we see a uh, very clean uh, 1835, but also another new peaks. And uh, with 1.3, uh, we see uh, the distorted line shape around this uh, X1835. So you see that uh, for the 10 billion GSI, uh, you will see that uh, we could see more feature and uh, more interesting things. So we're gonna really uh, make more efforts to uh, analyze them. And uh, we also have a new plan for the uh, upgrade the BPC2, so-called B3. So it's gonna uh, increase this luminosity by three times uh, than the BPC2. So with this new uh, new uh, new upgrade. Uh, uh, BPC3, uh, we could take data above uh, 3.8 GeV uh, with much much higher uh, data taking efficiency, uh, three times more, and uh, then we will accumulate more data for the uh, XYZ study and also for the uh, CHAM biome study. Uh, also, uh, we are now planning the so-called super tall CHAM factory. Uh, which is gonna have uh, uh, roughly 100 times more luminosity and cover a uh, larger energy range from two to seven GeV. And uh, we're gonna realize the beam operation in order to uh, access some uh, uh, CP variation in tau decay and so forth. This is a schematic uh, layout of this uh, uh, client. This is the uh, a storage ring, and this is the collider. Uh, this is uh, the collision point and the detector. And, uh, and it takes uh, one US interval data per year, uh, which is um, 100 more than the current machine of BPC2. 
this is uh, uh, the, the, the concept design of this detector, uh, which I will not elaborate detail because of the time. Uh, at least uh, it will cover all the physics at the best way, but also uh, cover them all, especially the CP violation in tau uh, decays and also rare decay of tau and so on. So it's gonna be very still very rich program. Uh, if you can see the current best three program, you will see uh, much more uh, potential. And uh, this is the planned data set, uh, the the uh, uh, the expected data set, gonna taken at the future super charm. So very uh, very uh, uh, promising that we're gonna take like uh, three point four trillion GFSI data. Uh, it's gonna be like, uh, currently we have three, uh, 10 billion. So it's gonna like uh, roughly uh, 300 more GSI data. So it's uh, it's very, uh, very uh, ambitious and uh, plan, I think. Uh, this is the tentative uh, plan for this uh, super charm project. Uh, we are gonna release a CDR uh, this year and uh, we already have budget support for the CDR. And uh, now we are we are we are going to have the the support from uh, uh, from the uh, some funding agency for the R and D, and to in order to uh, publish the TDR uh, in three years. So it's it's the uh, current plan. It's the construction will uh, start uh, around uh, two thousand twenty four. And uh, until uh, 2030, so the taking will happen after uh, 2031 and uh, continue 10 years. And then later would be like upgrade of the machine with uh, uh, beam operation for two, with two years. So the full uh, data taking year would be like 15, uh, 15 years. Uh, this is the international cooperation with this uh, project. So you know that there is also another version of the Super Charm Tau at, 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 at North Peak in Russia. And uh, we have uh, already uh, uh, joined efforts uh, on R&D. We have uh, regular meetings and so on. And now we have a joint workshop uh, between China, Russia, and also Europe. So we last year we have due to the pandemic, we have online uh, workshop. So uh, actually, we are sincerely, uh, sincerely welcome the the more uh, people to join this effort and uh, to work on this uh, uh, interesting future. Uh, oh, I guess uh, I take I I have taken too much time, uh, so it's come to my summary. And so I I, I only I uh, I will not uh, repeat all this, but uh, one thing that. I didn't mention many other interesting results from BES because it was uh, really uh, gonna take more time. For example, we published the R value uh, related results and also multi meson production, uh, which is important input to G minus two calculation and also fragmentation function uh, and so on. And also there are also many uh, rare decay uh, study and the new physics search and so on. So uh, even, uh, in the sector I have mentioned, but uh, I still omit many uh, interesting results. I, I, for example, the X32 studies and uh, and also the global uh, search and so on. So uh, so I have to uh, apologize for my uh, ignorance, but uh, uh, I have to say uh, there are many interesting results uh, already uh, published and also uh, gonna be uh, released soon. Yeah, so uh, so uh, we hope that uh, we, we could uh, have more uh, collaboration with the uh, Brazil side and uh, hope to uh, uh, see uh, many uh, friends from uh, from uh, the uh, South America uh, to join the, this uh, uh, this uh, hydron physics uh, campaign. Uh, thank you. That's all. Thank you, Xiaohui. That is a lot of work going on, indeed. Uh, uh, the talk is now open for questions. Are there any questions from the audience?
So are there any, if there are no questions from audience, I can, I can ask a few. Let me ask a few questions. Meanwhile, uh, who knows if some people in audience uh, then come up with some questions. Um, uh, so shall we, I had a few, uh, I work more on exotics, so my questions are going to be more on the exotics. Uh, I see that you sh uh, show uh, interesting results on X3, ZC39, 3900 and 3885. It is still not clear if these two are different or same state. Yeah, I, I think uh, there are no conclusion yet. So uh, I I'm not sure I can still share my slide, but I did find button. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, as you see that uh, their maths are close, uh, and uh, there are many uh, theoretical uh, predictions that say that the 3900 is uh, kind of like uh, a one one model is saying that uh, they could be DDR molecule. Uh, should have a, a large decay rate to DD star. So uh, that's why uh, the uh, 3885 is also uh, found in the DD star final state. So they say that they are, should be uh, belong to one, uh, one state, which uh, uh, decays to either channel. Uh, but uh, but we don't know. Uh, actually, this is one uh, one model, and uh, they are they are the ratio of the decay uh, could be different in different uh, model uh, scenario. Uh, the tetra quark compact model or the molecule model. So um, now we they they categorize them uh, as one state, but uh, from if we uh, for strict strict speaking, uh, we cannot really uh, take it as granted. Yeah. I see. In Hi, Kanshan. Concerning this state, I, I have not a question, but a comment. Yes, please. Uh, yeah. This, uh, yeah, this ZCS state, I, I think we are very happy when you have observed this state because almost 10 years ago, we made a prediction for this state uh, and the mass and the width, it is very compatible, the observation one with the with our options. So it's just to, <laughs> to comment that. And in, in our work, we, we made predictions for um, four different decay models for this state. So maybe the two states are really only one. It's just a comment. Okay, thank you. So, uh, yeah, uh, you, it seems the same picture is, I mean, same confusion seems to be in the case of also 4020 and 4025. In case of still ZC 3900, I remember seeing some papers from the lattice calculations, which said, which set some doubt, like the, I think if, at least in the lattice calculations in molecular model, or using a molecular current, if I remember, uh, they did not see the ZC 3900, which cast some doubt, but definitely from the results you show, I think there is no doubt. My, one might have to just worry is like, what exactly the state is. It's, apparently there are even two. So that's, that's interesting. Uh, another uh, question I wanted to ask is that you also talked about the lambda CDKs to Pi sigma and pi kp and other other different uh, final states. Uh, I was just wondering, just on the basis of symmetry, like the LHCb finds pentaquark states in the lambda b. If if the, if you have any, if you have reconstructed any of the invariant mass, and one could see some some lambda just a strange lambda, some kind of pentaquark structure. Is there any mass invariant information on the mass invariant spectrum of the final states yeah, of yeah. the CDK? Yeah, uh, I think uh, uh, this is, a, uh, yeah, I usually uh, things to, uh, to explore, but uh, 
unfortunately the the kinematic kinematic uh, phase space for lambda c uh, which decays to hyperon is uh, much uh, constrained compared to lambda b uh, for example uh, in order to find the uh, the the counterpart of the the, the pentaquark from lambda c which uh, one one potential channel is the lambda c goes to j psi phi and uh, and the pi. Uh, sorry, uh, is a, a phi uh, p phi uh, class of pi on. Uh, so actually, uh, for this channel, uh, it's this phi uh, is kind of act as a GSI in the lambda b goes to j uh, psi proton and uh, k on. So for the uh, proton, for the lambda c go to uh, proton phi and uh, pi on. So actually, it, the 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 mass sum of the mass of the three particle already very close to a lambda c. So uh, so and uh, this decay rate is highly suppressed due to the uh, the the phase space uh, limitation, and uh, and the statics are very low, and the p phi inverse mass is not. Uh, there is no much space to uh, to have much to have broader uh, mass range. Um, so we we did search and uh, seems not promising because of the uh, the much uh, low branching ratio. Uh, however, for lambda b, uh, which goes to j psi proton plus k on, it have enough phase space uh, to uh, to produce uh, to produce this uh, final state and uh, and the they could have find some interesting feature uh, of the pendle quark. So, um, yeah, that's that's the uh, the thing. Uh, for lambda c goes to hyperon pair. Uh, again, as I explained, it, it's a very uh, with very limited uh, uh, phase space. So. I see. Yeah. So there is not really much phase space to see some structure there. Maybe also like of lambda fourteen zero five, which is kind of well discussed in community, could be like a pentaquark. Uh, could be yeah, a that's uh, that, sure, sure. That is a uh, one thing we could do. For example, uh, the lambda c goes to pk pi. Yes. Uh, in the pk, in the pk uh, final state. Uh, however, uh, it depends on channel. If uh, for the purely charged final state. Uh, the lambda b, uh, the RCB actually can do better uh, because they have much, much, much larger uh, lambda c example than BES. I see. Yeah. I see. And uh, maybe one, uh, one, one more thing. Uh, I see that you have also talked about this new state, which is the ZC with the strangeness, 4,000, quite new. And uh, as you discussed, there is already a lot of discussion on it. Uh, I was I wanted to just bring your attention to our. We also did some work some time ago, which is on hidden strange hidden charm, but explicit strangeness. So a K star meson with a hidden charm. We actually study it, and it's like a molecule of X three eight seven two with K on or ZC. 3,900 with K on is, is a very attractive interaction and it produces a, a, a resonance or a bound state of kind of X and K or Z and K kind of couple channels. The mass is around 4,300. So I, I was wondering if, if you have a energy, a, some kind of mass spectrum of like J Psi, K Pi, where around where the mass spectrum is around 4,300 uh, in such a region, you could see such a K star. So I was just, uh, I just wanted to ask, do you think you have any mass spectrum, any final state of J Psi K Pi, where actually if you look uh, in such, in such final states, uh, such a state could appear, which is like a K on a K star with a hidden charm would be interesting for us. Yeah, okay. I, I think uh, we uh, we could check that. Uh, yeah, the problem is the production cross-section. That's the uh, uncertainty uh, we, we cannot, uh, we cannot uh, 
uh, say now. So uh, yeah, I think we need uh, because of the production cross section is always uh, hard to predict. So I, I guess we can we can still uh, look on that and uh, yeah to see whether we could see something. Yeah, I can probably send you some through email our our article. It might be interesting for you. Uh, would be interesting. Yeah, that's, ah, that's very nice. Thank you. Thank you. So, do we have any other questions from the audience? So, uh, if not, I'm, I'm, I'm going to thank very much Shahui for his time. It's also late, late night in China. So I'm also not going to keep you up and uh, we can probably discuss more by email. Uh, um, it, it has been a pleasure to, to discuss with you. And uh, to listen to your talk, to the results, it, it, it was very kind of you. I thank you very much for this talk. And, and I thank yeah. the audience, everyone in the audience for their presence, for gathering. And uh, it, it was very nice. Every, I thank everyone around. Yes, Xiaohui, would you like to say yeah. something? Thank you. It's all my honor. Thank you much, Kanchin. Thank and you. Thank you all. Yeah. Kanchan, just uh, to uh, thanks uh, Chao uh, for uh, participating in our seminar. Okay, thank you. Yes. Hi, thank you, Madam. Yeah. And I think it, before we all leave, I just want to make a small propaganda. Our ne next talk will be on radioactive ion beams. Marlette, would you like to tell a little bit, a few words before we all leave? Uh, so just uh, uh, the next uh, 13 um, is uh, Francois de Oliveira Santos uh, talk about the GANIL accelerator, uh, all in, in invitation, okay? Wow. Thank you. We, we, the talk is closed.